Hello, and welcome to a Broken Binding unboxing once again with their subscription series. This, my friends, is the shadow, the shadow of what was lost um, by James Islington. Tape is in piece, in one, in one piece, but, you know, wasn't easy to rip that tape open. Uh, this is the first volume in the Lacanius trilogy, which is the third uh, trilogy in the subscription series. Uh, so they started off with the first Law trilogy by James Abercrombie, uh, followed it up with the uh, Willowing Flame trilogy, and now here we are in the Lucanius trilogy. So this is actually the September book. And you're thinking, wait, you're in October, and October's like over, halfway over, and you are correct. Yeah, that's... Uh, We'll get into that once we get into the book. Oh, the paper's kind of ripping at the top there. Uh, we're going to see, hopefully, the book itself is fine. Uh, this one didn't have, oh, this one did have the bubble wrap and, you know, everything else. The Shadow of What Was Lost. Very nice. We get the little bookmark going with it. Everyone has a darker nature. Good men fear it and evil men embrace it. I'm all for it. I have not read this series. However, um, I was reading some reviews online, and one of the comparisons that kept getting made was to uh, a combination of The Wheel of Time by Robert Jordan and uh, Sanderson's Mistborn trilogy, which is a very interesting comparison. It has me intrigued. Um, Robert Jordan's Wheel of Time is a 14-book epic, which was actually finished by Sanderson. And uh, I can't tell you how that ends, because I never finished it. I got to about book eight. Um, the issue I had with Wheel of Time is that once you get past that first trilogy, the first three titles, uh, it kind of gets very bogged down. Lots of characters, and I feel like a quitter. I mean, I, I keep saying, I'm going to finish that trilogy one day, but I got to, like, Winter's Heart, which was the eighth title, and it just... There's so much going on. Um, but anyways, The Shadow of What Was Lost is a trilogy by James Islington, so uh, if it is kind of drawing inspiration from Wheel of Time, he's pared it down from, you know, 14 titles to three. There's our glued spines. There it is. That's one of the unfortunate natures of just publishing. Um, anyways, the reason that this September title is now coming out in mid-October is the page edges. So when the Broken Binding first announced uh, the titles, the trilogies, they showed off the page edges. And all three books had like, uh, it was kind of gradients, uh, gray gradients. So it was you know, light gray, then the gray got a little darker with each title, and the community did not like that. They were like, oh, hell no. Why couldn't you just have the edges match the covers of the book? Because each book has its own kind of color scheme going on. We kind of got orangish. Uh, I think one's going to be bluish. Uh, they're like, hey, uh, and if I get the colors wrong, I apologize. I'm colorblind, but this is definitely orange, so don't at me. Um, yeah, they were like, why can't you get the page edges to match the covers? And uh, the people spoke, and Broken Binding said, you know what, we've heard you, and we're going to fix that. And they did. So now you got, uh, you know, a sprayed edge that matches each color. Uh, but it kind of pushed things back a little bit. So the September title, uh, which should have been this, uh, actually got released in October. But they said that the pre next two titles... All, around, uh, all arrived around the same time, so the, I'm presuming that the October title is just right to be shipping like in a few weeks. Anyways, the shadow of what was lost, uh, from what I have gathered from reading on this, there we go, James Islington signature number 805 to match my other titles. That is a very, very thin signature. Very fine point print there. The Lacanius Trilogy, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, takes place in a world... Uh, which has just undergone revolution, or 20 years ago it did, uh, these magic, powerful uh, augurs uh, took uh, lost power to the people. The people having their own power, their own magic power, which is to a lesser extent called the gift. Uh, the people, those who can use the gift, have the rules, their, the tenets of society, like tattooed onto them? Is how I read that? I'm like, that's crazy, you know. That, that's awesome. It's kind of like warded man, painted man vibes. Uh, but anyways, uh, this follows Davian, who is uh, one of the students learning to use the gift. And he's worried that he's going to fail out. Uh, if you fail out of, uh, I guess, magic school, 
what it would be? You are transformed into something else, like something not human. And Davian is worried that he's going to fail. Um, but it soon realizes that Davian has the ability to tap into the power of the augurs, the people that, you know, used to run the country. Uh, meanwhile, up in the north, let's go back to our little cartography, uh, our little, uh, our map, our cartography, cartography skills, I can't speak English. Up, meanwhile, up in the north, some sort of evil force that they thought was banished is waking back up because this is a fantasy title and that is kind of your go-to thing for fantasy titles. You got some sort of power. Uh, usually to the north, you know, you gotta just do what you gotta do. Uh, waking up and coming down south. <laughs> um, and over to the west, presumably in the Isles of Calandra, there is a boy who is inexplicably tied to Davian, who has woken up in the forest with amnesia. Because you also have amnesia. That's not necessarily a fantasy trope, that's just a, a book trope in general. Uh, very tight margins. The margins aren't too large, not too small, but the, the text isn't, uh, Fine print, so, you know, it's fine. Get 600 plus pages. Oh, close to 700 pages. Just under 700 pages a book. But I am very much looking forward to it. I like a good fantasy series. I've heard good things. Uh, and it's a trilogy. So, you know. And it's a trilogy that's completely uh, out already, so you're not waiting for the future titles. <laughs> Which is nice. Looking at you, George R. R. Martin. With your series that's not over with yet. But uh, anyways. So, this title is... Uh, you know, chug it along with the Broken Binding versions. We have our September title, the first book. Uh, the second book should be shipping very soon. The third book will be shipping in November. And then the uh, final book of 2022 is going to be The Goblin Queen. The Goblin Queen? I don't know if that's right. Yeah, yeah, Goblin Queen. It's not Goblin Market because that's the Rossetti uh, short story. The Goblin Queen uh, by... Catherine something, who I don't remember your last name. I wanted to say Catherine Arden, but it's not Catherine Arden. But it's Catherine something. Uh, Subterranean Press is actually doing a version of that book. I believe it's probably sold out already, because a lot of Subpress titles sell out pretty quickly. But anyways, that's the December title. Just a standalone. Pretty cool. Uh, so anyways, The Shadow of What Was Lost, James Islington, the Lacanius trilogy, uh, being published and by well in conjunction with Orbit Books, uh, Broken Binding. So there's the first title there. Uh, there is a wait list to their subscription series. Link in the description below where you can sign up for that wait list. Uh, but they also have the Dragon Sword, which is open to everybody. Lots of other exclusive books in there, such as the Pillars of Peace, which I just uh, unboxed recently uh, by Tom Dumbrell. Uh, but yeah, and then they announced at the end of October, they're doing a sale for leftover copies of their other titles, which include uh, both the First Law Trilogy and the Willing Flame Trilogy. I don't believe The Shadow of What Was Lost will be included with that because this trilogy is still, you know, ongoing. It's the first set title. They're probably going to wait until all three are out before they figure out what they have left. Anyways, thank you very much for watching. Please consider subscribing to the channel, and we will see you around next time.